Okay, now let's focus on audience retention analysis. It is very important thing that a lot of people are overlooking and audience retention analysis is the best way to understand where do you want to put your cards, your YouTube cards. We didn't talk about YouTube cards a lot because I don't think that it is necessary for the beginners to understand. You can put, as a beginner, you can put your uh, uh, cards wherever you want. It's It will not make a big of a difference. But when you try to understand your analytics, you when you understand your audience retention, that's where you can start putting your cards. So, first things first, you see this audience retention analysis. You can go and see more. You see this audience retention right here, and what is very good with a new studio is that you can see exactly what points you are talking about right here. As you can see, this is a just gameplay video. There is nothing big of a difference here. But you see that you have an immediate drop right here. As you can see, like people are dropping after 19 seconds and they're dropping to 258 seconds. What you can do is you can go and do on a 19th second right here, put the card right here, right at this moment. Because you can, because a lot of people are actually moving away from this video, you can put a card of your other video right away here, right away. People are gonna come here and they're gonna see the card right away because they want their go, go come to, come to your video. They're gonna watch for 19 seconds. That means that they're giving you a chance to impress them, basically, to get them interested. And if they are not interested, when the card will pop up right here. They uh, there is a chance that they will click it and get to another video. Maybe other type of video will get it will interest them. That's what you are trying to do. Right here, when you go and watch this, you can see there is a very gradual drop right here. There is nothing big of a difference, and you see it increase here. That means that people are actually very likely they are jumping to this point. Maybe the people that were right here they jumped to this point to see whatever the hell is happening just to understand what the video is all about. What you can do. And, and then after this, we have, we have a drop. What you can do is put another card right here. When you put another card right here, when people are going to jump there or when people are going to get to this point, they have an option to get to the other video, other type of the video. Not the same type of video, but other type of the video. They can go and put the card right here. And this will have, you can even see the chart card right, go right here. So that, that's, that's a really, really good. That's a really cool thing. That you, if you press right here, you, you, it's gonna explain everything to you. As, as you can see, the flatness shows that viewers are watching from start to finish. Nice work. This is the best case scenario that you want. The gradual decline means the viewers are losing a bit of attention over time. It's not bad. A bit of attention is, is not bad. But means the viewer are rewatching or sharing those parts of your video. The other means they're jumping. This means the viewer are skipping over these parts of the video, which is right here. It's skipped over this part of the video. You can even put the card right here if you want. And then what you can see is the sudden drop means the viewers are leaving the video at the specific part. Well, that's the, the thing that you don't want. You need to just ignore, you need to just work on this. That means that if you have something like this, your video is bad, video itself. If you have something like this, that means that this thing, these parts are actually a bit boring. And people are still giving you a chance and just they're just going to the different part. When people are doing this, that means they're specifically looking for something something, and you can put the cards right there just to gain their attention as much as possible. When there is something like this, it's not bad. It usually means that the video is pretty long and, and it's video dragged or something like that. You need to work on your video itself if you want to increase this. If you have this, well, perfect. So work on something like that. Try to identify the slopes and hills and the valleys and dips in your channel and put the cards accordingly because there is not much else that you can do. Or otherwise what you can do, which is a bit more important, is watch the parts that people are dipping and skipping. Watch the parts. What did you do there that people are actually skipping those parts and not getting interested? Or for example, they, they, you see drop from here and up from here. So what was happening in this part from here to here? Yeah, people are actually not got interested and then they just went away. To try to avoid these types of parts in your videos as much as possible. So you know that, okay, this is the thing that people do not like. You know what? I should try to not do it in the next video. So try to do something like that. 
concentrate or again on slopes and hills and valleys on your audience retention and use your cards and future videos accordingly. Well, this is it for today. Let's go to the next one.